Yeah. All right. The star of the show, the wig. Hello. Now, today we have here a 24 inch honey blonde water wave. Look at the lace. Pre cut, pre parted. Y'all know I love a pre plucked hairline. Y'all know I love it all, okay? All I want to do is pop it on and go. Now, this is the inside of the wig, okay? You got some combs in there. Um, not comb yeah, combs, I guess, because I was about to say clips. It's definitely combs. They actually give you an extra band just in case they don't fit your head. Um, this is the lace on the part. Now, I can say if you would like to give this a bleaching, you definitely can. This is still like a pop on and go type of wig. I feel like technically it's glueless, but if you one of them people that like your wigs to look like it's growing out of your scalp, definitely take a bleach into it and pluck the edges, okay? You're going to see that later. Now, what I'm doing is slicking back my baby hair because you ain't going to rip my edges out. They are The wigs are already taking my edges, okay? That even in the red can don't play. It's not the one. It's been taking my edges one by one. So, yeah, be careful. Anyway, y'all know I already got my little ponytail in the back. Now, this wig is big enough to where you can actually wear like a little low bun. A lot of the times you need a, a slick back. I mean, a braid down. So I'm just showing y'all that it's not a 13 by 4 all the way because they don't have the ear tabs. Okay? So you're not going to tuck this bad boy behind your ear. Sorry. This is the length. I'm five one and a half. Don't forget to have. I do think that this is true to length because y'all know with curly or water wave hair, when you wet it, it tends to loosen up even more or wash it or anything like that. So yeah, that's a true 24 because 24 usually hit the hips. Okay. Now, I don't know why I do this. Every time I have curly or water wave type hair, I always hit the edges and hit the part knowing I want it to be big up there. I don't like a flat top with some curly hair at the end. I don't even like that. But what I am doing here is something that I do like. So I like to push my edges back so I could spray it even on the lace and lay it down with the um with the wig band easier okay so no hair will be getting in my face period y'all like the bars y'all like the bars okay but now I'm just am I gonna use even I could have sworn I was using even but I'm going in with the guys to be oh I'm going in with the guys to be because I'm um putting it on like you know my edges to slick it back and then I'm gonna hit it with the hot comb the extra slick it back okay to give it that you know wet kind of slick back look then I'm gonna bring it back forward y'all gonna see what I'm gonna do y'all gonna see in a little bit okay if you're going to reach for the even, it might as well be the red can, okay? It's just right. It's just enough. It does just enough. It's strong enough to not completely take my edges out because if so, I would be edgeless right now, okay? I recommend you take the wig off with alcohol and a towel. So I'm just spraying it on my hairline. I'm going to fan it until it's tacky, almost dry. Then I'm going to put my wig band on, okay? Look at that wig. I love this wig bag. Julia, Julia, send me some more, boo. I really do. I love it. So now I'm going to wet it. I kept the wig band on for at least like 30 minutes. But in, in between that, I'm wetting my hair. I'm detangling. I'm finger detangling. That's how much came. A little bit more because, you know, some slipped down the sink as I was wetting my hair. So it, it, it shed lightly, which is not uncommon because it's water wave hair. Curly water wave, I expect shedding. Straight and body wave, however. Like I said, the wig just lightly shed, which is expected, okay? Yes. Yes, I done took the wig band off and I'm still ashy. That's because I got to blend the lace with my foundation. But first, I'm going to take some alcohol. Yes, I smelled the towel because I love the smell of alcohol. I was thinking about sniffing the whole thing. And I was like, let me get this out of my way. Let me get this out of my way. So I just took my foundation brush, right? And I'm using the Access Foundation. I didn't put nothing new. I'm just using the Access and I'm just going to blend my lace into my forehead, which I don't have makeup on. So it should blend pretty perfectly. Then I'm going to take my hot comb and bring the, you know, the hair back down. So the, the middle part can give wet and, you know, slicked back. I love it. I love that look. I really do. So next, next I'm going to take my red tail comb and my concealer. And I'm going to hit that part because, like I said, them knots, it didn't appear to be bleached. I could be wrong. I'm not wrong. But you might want to take a bleach into this if you wanted to like it's giving scalpiana, okay? And that's not a problem because concealer does a trick all the time. Now, I decided that my lace was still a little too ashy, so I am going to add some more foundation. I forgot I did that. My bad. So, yeah, that's what I'm going in and doing. But do y'all see how this look? I only got off camera to add this foundation to the scalp i didn't do nothing extra i mean to the edges of the lace i didn't do nothing extra and it's blending seamlessly so y'all know i had to do the outfit change and, and, and put on some lip gloss and, and put my fake moles on you know i had to bring the look all together the only thing i did forget was my earrings i was like something is missing from this look it was definitely my earrings but i only realized until just right now you know after editing but yeah this is so cute and it's cute for the spring that's coming up yeah yeah oh it came together real nice and that's the length again you know it's almost past my little waist now if y'all like this video everything will be linked in the description okay check it out 